We know transplanting fecal matter from a healthy person can save the life of a patient suffering from a C. difficile bacterial infection by offering them good gut bacteria. Scientists are now trying to figure out if it can treat hundreds of other conditions, mental and physical. Then I get the uh, stool specimen and this Brace is yourself. It gets into patients via pills, an enema, or in this case, a colonoscopy. And this is the colonoscope. A trial here at Toronto General is transplanting fecal matter from healthy, lean donors into obese recipients to see if it improves their weight and metabolism. We look at the effect on insulin, blood sugar, as well as the changes in the intestinal microbiome. The microbiome is a colony of creatures living on or inside your body. Skin, gut, mouth, each area is teeming with trillions of bacteria, viruses and other microorganisms. So we either have a healthy microbiome or we don't have a healthy microbiome and that really relates to these organisms um, and how they interact with each other, the byproducts of what they release. Studies are revealing there are differences between the gut bacteria of healthy people and those with Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, autism, depression and a variety of intestinal disorders. But the question is, did the gut bacteria cause the disease or did the disease trigger changes in the gut microbiome? At this point, researchers aren't even sure what exactly is benefiting patients with C. difficile. What is actually most important? Is it actually the bacteria or is it the byproducts of the bacteria? What's actually helping the patient? We don't really know. Slide it in. And yet, people are trying to capitalize on fecal transplants. My interpretation of this sort of uh, hype to data ratio right now is that we're somewhere near peak hype. Experts warn while fecal transfers may sound natural and safe, they're not. In the U.S., a study participant recently died, prompting the Food and Drug Administration to issue a warning and halt some clinical trials after donor stool wasn't properly screened for disease. Fecal transplant, you know, at, if it does nothing, if it has no positive benefits on health, it's still unpleasant and inconvenient, but it can be harmful and even deadly, and I think that that's something that everybody needs to know. Everyone agrees, understanding the microbiome holds great promise for new treatments. But there's still a lot that needs to be flushed out. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.